beached and struggling to survive. These pilot whales have been out of the water for hours. By the time rescuers and volunteers arrived at the scene, four were already dead. Vets say the whales' lungs started collapsing under the weight of their massive bodies. And with the clock against them, there was only one option. We have tried everything in our power in terms of keeping them um, cool with water and to keep them breathing. But uh, our attempt has failed. And that's a natural phenomenon across the world that these type of things happen. And we can only do the best to assist them. And uh, it appears that the majority of them will unfortunately had been uh, put out. The beach was closed to the public while 13 whales were shot dead under the supervision of marine biologists. For volunteers who had spent hours trying to save the animals, the culling was a bitter blow. We all had to leave and we've been there since 8.30 trying to save them. I'm, I'm completely against it, I can't believe it. Um, yeah, no, now they're going to euthanize them and we're not allowed to say anything against it. Some animal rights groups say the decision to euthanize the whales was made too quickly. We feel that they need to be spending a lot more time looking at ways to save as many of the animals as possible and not come to that conclusion as quick as they have. The two surviving whales were taken to Simonstown Harbour where they were released. Esther Kivett, Nortuk, Cape Town.